Hi there my friends and welcome back to the Scott Reed Project and today it's another little butchery masterclass and today it's how to tie a butcher's knot part two. Now the reason I say part two is I've got a very good butchery knot video already on YouTube if you look down in the comments you'll see it but there will come a time when you need a knot which hasn't got so much pressure behind it but will still hold. So let me just give you a demonstration of the normal knot, which is fine if you're rolling beef or pork. So you would tie your knot and you would pull it tight, which would lock the joint into position. I shall slow this down for you guys, for you to have a look. If you've got your string like that, cross it over, hold it with your fingers, make a loop as you can see there, go down. I shall slow it down for you in a minute and snap it shut. Now that's fine and dandy if you're rolling top sides or sirloins or legs of pork, shoulders of pork. But there will come a time, say if you were rolling a stuffed loin of pork or a stuffed belly pork or little lamb noisettes, where if it was stuffed and you did that normal knot, you will push all the stuffing out of the ends. So what we need to do, the variation on that knot, a little more gentle, is we tie the knot, then we tie a locking knot, and this way we can gauge the pressure up until it's locked. So we're not snapping it down, as you can see. We're not snapping it shut, you wouldn't lose any of your stuffing. And it's a great knot to learn. So I shall show you that, and I shall slow it down. So, we would tie our normal knot, and tie off your locking knot and then just gently guide it up pulling it and you're totally in control of the pressure you can use another knot to tie it off although you don't need to and that is a great knot when you're stuffing like I said loins legs chicken cushions lamb shoulder cushions what I will do then is I will slow that down for you guys now and you can see how I do it so first then, we will do the normal knot. I'm going to slow this down for you guys, so you get it round your joint. And as you can see, I've got the short string in my left hand, and that in my right. I hold them together with my finger and my thumb, cross over a loop, through the loop, pull tight, snap it down, and that's locked. Right. I will do that in slow motion for you now. Now we'll do that second knot where, like I said, if you need a more intricate knot, not so much pressure, starts off the same, left hand for the short one, right hand between thumb and finger, make a loop through the hole and then lock it off straight away there and then push with as much pressure as you want, whatever you're rolling, chicken, pork and that will hold absolutely perfect. Right, I'll do that in slow-mo for you. really is a great knot to learn like I said if you make a lot of stuffed products and you don't want too much pressure on your knot 
this is absolutely ideal i use it all the time especially for stuffed bellies stuffed breasts of lamb and you don't want to shoot all that stuffing out this is ideal well i hope you've enjoyed that butchery masterclass. a great knot to learn for more intricate work fantastic and it's all about practice and repetition you know get a tin of baked beans and just practice on there great knot to have in your armory and if you've liked what you've seen here today on the scott reed project please click subscribe down here and check the icons and catch me on facebook it's scott Ree or the scott Ree project and like it and share it and also on twitter at the scott Ree project so until next time get learning this knot you will find it very useful all the best